The striking thing about slavery at Sylvester Manor is how little we do know. The 1737 Manor House that we're sitting in now was originally a four over four Georgian style home built by Brinley Sylvester, the grandson of Nathaniel. And we know that Nathaniel came here with enslaved Africans. We know that uh, there was a certain number of enslaved Africans named in his last will and testament. And from that, that's one of the few sources that we have for any of the names. As you can see, it's a very narrow staircase with a very high rise, a nine and a half inch rise. And it's striking in its lack of concern for how difficult it would have been to climb up and down that with heavy loads, uh, chamber pots, empty and full. At the top of the two flights of the slave staircase is the attic where the enslaved Africans and later the indentured servants were believed to have slept. Much of what we can say about slavery and the enslaved Africans who were here is um, surmise from scant clues and uh, documentation.